Hey dolls! So today I am finally doing an updated crystal collection. Uh, as you can see, just by this shot right here, I've accumulated a lot. <laughs> um, I've really been going hardcore on this spiritual journey and crystals have opened up my eyes in so many levels and I'm so happy to have been able to use them recently in healing and just collecting them as well. This is how I have been displaying my crystals. As you can see, I have them on these white shelves. These shelves right here, this is one set of shelves and then over here is the other set of shelves. So I have two sets of shelves next to each other. I got these off of Amazon. If I can find them, I'll link them in the description box down below. They do also come in black. I think it would just be better and easier for me to uh, maintain organization with everything if I literally just go from left to right. So if I just work from this side of the screen all the way over to this side. Um, there are obviously some things throughout here that you'll see or recognize from my first crystal collection video, but a majority of it is all new and you guys haven't seen before. And obviously to save some time because I know this video is going to be insanely long, I'm not going to discuss the healing properties of each individual crystal. I'm just going to say what it is and move on to the next one because if I sit here and give you guys a three to five sentence like explanation of what each crystal does, we're going to be here for a few hours. <laughs> Um, so yes, please bear with me if you guys want to research the healing properties of crystals. Uh, I highly recommend the Crystal Bible books uh, by Judy Hall. I have all three of them and I highly recommend these. I mentioned them in my other crystal collection video. If you are interested in those, I will link those in the description. I did also want to mention one thing really quickly for you guys. Um, I do actually have an online shop that I made and I will link it in the description box down below but there I actually sell um, like sagebrush bundles for smoke cleansing and I also sell um, some raw stones on there as well. I also have some paintings that I just listed that I have hand painted on canvases so if you guys want to go look into that I will link that down below as well. Now I think we can actually get into the crystals. I'm going to leave you guys facing this angle, but I'm going to be reaching around over that way to grab every individual item that is on that shelf first. I guess I will show my biggest piece. This is a raw lapidolite, and it is a rock. I tell you what, it is huge. Um, but this is a raw lapidolite, and you can see the shining like glittery flex in there that is actually lithium that is what makes lapidolite sparkly is the lithium inclusions and on this rock it also has um this is pink tourmaline i know it looks like jelly uh, and then there's also some quartz inclusion as well so it is lapidolite pink tourmaline and quartz and it is just a big monster it is so heavy this is definitely the biggest piece in my collection so i figured i would start off with a bang <laughs> next up i have some little amethyst free forms here i have this gorgeous juicy baby you know what i am going to turn my brightness on my camera down so you can see a little bit better look at this gorgeous amethyst Oh my gosh, the detail on this thing is insane. There are some little hidden rainbows in this area right here that kind of peek through in certain lighting. This is so stunning. I love that vibrant color. And then I also have these two little babies. They just look like so. Kind of just little children to the big one. Just little amethysts. This gorgeous, gorgeous, stunningly gorgeous. Uh, this is a Labradorite. And you can't really tell in this lighting. This is really bad lighting, but it has a gorgeous pinky purple flash to it. You really can't see it too much in this light, but it is so, so, so stunning. And the pink and purple labs are really sought after because they are less common than blue flashes. Um, but yeah, again, that is Labradorite. And the flash is stunning. I 
also have a couple other little amethyst pieces. I just have this little mini cluster right here. Nothing too fancy, just a little amethyst cluster. And then this right here is a cluster, but it is in the shape of a little hedgehog or like a baby Groot. Some people will argue that it looks like a baby Groot, but look at the little snout. It's so cute. And then there have been little eyes that have been glued on and it is just an adorable little piece. Next, I have this gorgeous fluorite tower. I got a deal on this guy because he does have a little bit of a chippy tip. His tip is chipped just slightly, but I could not say no to all the rainbows that he has. You can see them peeking out right there and all over the place right here. It's just so stunning. I love this piece so much. Fluorite is so, so beautiful. Sorry, I'm so shaky by the way, but Oh my gosh, look at this detail. It is so gorgeous. Okay, next up, let's do some carvings. I have a larva kite bat. As you can see, here he is. <laughs> so little and cute. So again, that is larva kite. All of my carvings are hand carved. So they are super unique and every one of them is different. Then we have an ocean jasper bear who just looks like this. He is so, so cute. Get my camera to focus on him, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I love how he is kind of like half and half. It's so cute and I just love this. I love ocean jasper as well. Very gorgeous. This is actually my only ocean jasper piece but I definitely hope to get some more in the future. We have another bear, and this one is quite smaller, and this is Aventurine, or Green Aventurine, and he is so little and so, so cute. I love this one as well. One of my favorite carvings, I have quite a few favorite carvings, obviously, um, but another one of my favorites is this gorgeous Rose Quartz Wolf. And she is so pretty. Obviously, you guys know I have a thing for wolves. They're my favorite animal. So you'll see quite a few carvings that I have of wolves. Very pretty. I love her. She is so shiny and smooth and glossy and just gorgeous. She even has like little hidden rainbows in her snout. So cute. So I also really love her. Okay, and then I have this Rose Quartz DT. DT stands for Double Terminated, so it's like one of these towers, but there are two points, one on both ends, and this one is so, so gemmy and like transparent and so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I won't actually be able to, oh, look at that. Oh, so pretty, rainbows. She's so gemmy and gummy and just beautiful. So that is a Rose Quartz DT. I'll go ahead and show a couple more Rose Quartz pieces. These are Aura Rose Quartz. Aura means that there has been a coating applied to it and it creates this stunning rainbow sheen. And that is called Aura, A-U-R-A. If you guys are not familiar, that is called being Aura treated. And so they will take the natural stone, shape it, polish it, and then Aura treat it. And so this is a gorgeous Aura treated rose quartz heart. Super puffy, super pretty. Oh, I love this. So gorgeous. I love rose quartz. <laughs> Who doesn't love rose quartz though, right? So this is the same type of stone. This is rose quartz that has been aura treated, but this is a flame shape instead of the heart. This is a flame. You can see it has that rainbow sheen. So gorgeous. Okay, moving on to another aura piece. This is an aura agate moon, and it just has a little druzy pocket. Druzy refers to the little sparkly bits in there. And this one, again, has that rainbow sheen because it is aura treated. And this one has been shaped and polished 
to look like a moon, a little crescent moon. Next up, we have another heart. And this one is actually a pink opal heart from Peru. I actually have the little sticker still on the back right here. But you can see the detail on this is so beautiful. And I love this banding on the top. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Also, I want to apologize for my shaky hands. Um, when I handle crystals, especially on camera, my hands tend to shake a lot because of the energy and vibrations coming off of them. Um, and sometimes I even have to sit down or take a break because I get a little lightheaded because their energies are so crazy sometimes. Um, but yeah, this is a pink opal heart. Let's do a sphere. This is Amazonite, and I don't know if it's going to show its flashes in this lighting. It might be a little shy. Let's see if I can find one for you guys. Oh, there it is. Can you guys see the little flash up over here? See it? See it flashing? This one has crazy flashes, but when it's in the ring light, oh, there's some more. When it's in the ring light, it tends to kind of shy away a little bit because the light is so overwhelming. But this is a beautiful Amazonite sphere. And it is another gorgeous piece. I love this color. Okay, now I'll go ahead and show, uh, this is arguably <laughs> my favorite piece in my entire collection. I have a lot of favorite pieces, but I think this is definitely in my top three for sure. This might even be in my top two. This might even be my favorite. Um, this is an aura treated amethyst tower. Sorry for the fingerprints on it. Um, but as you can see, it is just, it's very big. It's about eight inches tall and it weighs about 2.2 pounds. So he is a chonker. Um, but as you can see, it does have that rainbow sheen to it and it is amethyst. And I love amethyst so much. I'm mostly drawn to purple crystals and stones and amethyst is definitely one of them. But look at that. Oh my gosh, I want to put you guys closer so you can really see. Let me go to this edge over here. Oh my goodness. I get lost in this thing. <laughs> it is so stunning. So yeah, that is definitely one of my favorite pieces in my whole collection. So, so gorgeous. And I was so happy that I was able to snag this baby. Okay, next up we have my selenite wand. This is also aura treated and it is just a nice polished selenite wand. So cute, so simple. I love this. I'm not going to show a ton of these because I probably have shown a lot of them before, but I do have quite a few tumbles. You'll see some up here. I have the ones in this little dish. I'm not going to go through all of these individually, but you can kind of get an idea that I do have some tumbles. I do have some in here as well in this bowl. I got some citrine, rose quartz, amethyst, rhodonite, um, things like that. I have in this adorable, so pretty rose quartz heart bowl. So again, this is rose quartz and it just looks like this. Very pretty. I love these to keep tumbles in and just other crystals. You can even keep rings or jewelry, bracelets, whatever in these. Love them. Okay, then I have a flower agate palm stone. I love flower agate so much. You guys will see another couple pieces of it in my collection. So there's that pretty. And then this right here is an agate in hydro. E-N-H-Y-D-R-O, in hydro. Hydro obviously means water. And in here, encased in here, uh, is water from many, many moons ago, and it's kind of just like stuck in there and it like rattles around and it's hard to see it on camera, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it like jiggling around in there. But anyway, yes, this is an N-Hydro. I think this is probably my oldest piece in my collection because of the water in it. They're very, very neat. Okay, we have a raw celestite cluster. Very pretty. I love the clusters like this that have that shimmer, shimmer and shine. So pretty. I also love this shade of blue. It's very gorgeous and airy and calming. 
But another Labradorite, but this one is a tiny little baby compared to the big one that I showed earlier. And this one, it's very shy with its flash on this in this lighting. Um, but you can't, oh, there you go. Now you can see it. It's kind of pinky like a sunset. This one's very gorgeous. There you go. You can kind of see. It's tricky to show in certain lighting, but that is another Labradorite. I just have this little clear quartz little baby right here. Then I also have a Crackle Quartz DT. This is a chonky one. Um, basically what Crackle Quartz is, is you can see all the fine cracks in here. And how they achieve that is they put a clear quartz in... Oh my gosh, look at all the rainbows. Oh, I love Crackle Quartz. They put the um, clear quartz in exceedingly hot temperature and then they immediately freeze it in like so cold temperatures and that is what creates all of the cracking and you will see that in each of those cracks there are little rainbows that like to pop out and play and crackle quartz is just oh my look at that rainbow right there holy cuteness I love Crackle Quartz. It's so stunning. It looks like diamonds. I love it. Then I actually have some raw epido in lava rock. I have two pieces of this. I have this smaller piece right here. It just looks like so. Very little and cute. And then I have a bigger chunk right here. So I have both of these. Uh, my fiance actually found these when he was working. And so I have actually listed some of these up on my shop as well. So if you want to get some uh, personally sourced, personally discovered raw epido in lava rock, uh, definitely check out my shop because it is there right now. Another Aura piece, and this is an Aura Agate kitty head. Just looks like so. Very pretty. I'm going to try to get close up on this look at that druzy that sparkle in there oh my gosh and the detail all along around here is just so otherworldly like i love it and then you flip it over and it is like just as gorgeous on the back and again it is aura treated so you get the pretty rainbow effect oh my goodness all right, and then the last crystal that is on the shelf over there uh, is this Lepidolite Sphere. So again, you will see it have those sparkly bits that are lithium. And it almost looks like there is some quartz inclusion right here as well. But it is so... it's pretty heavy because of the metal in it, the lithium. But this, this sphere is very, very, very beautiful as well. I just love this one. So, so beautiful. I just love crystals. <laughs> I just love all of them. Oh, and I lied. I have one more crystal from that shelf over there. And this is a Caribbean calcite tower. It's actually an obelisk. An obelisk means it has four sides. And so this has four sides. And sadly enough, this arrived to me uh, completely cracked in half. It was broken apart. You can kind of see the line right here. Um, I have glued it back together as best as I can, but yeah, she definitely went through some trauma in the mail trying to get to me. So that was very unfortunate, but sometimes, you know, with these fragile stones, that happens, but I am still going to give her all of the love possible. So again, this is Caribbean calcite, and ironically enough, this does not come from the Caribbean. This comes from Pakistan. Um, so yeah, well, beautiful, beautiful beachy Piece. I do have another Caribbean calcite piece that I will show you guys in a little bit. All right, we move on to the shelves over here. Um, there is a lot more to go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and then I'm going to work down and then I'll do this section last because I think this section and this section down here are my two favorites. Um, but yeah, I'll just start from the top and work down. Uh, back here, ooh, behind my tarot cards, I have this little thing full of, I think this is rhodochrosite, it could just be rhodonite, um, and kunzite. They are both in there. I just have some little, some little chippies up here on top of my tarot and oracle decks. I always keep my Lumerian. 
very stunning. I love Lumerians as well. Up here I also have some raw and tumbled stones. Again, I'm not going to go through all of these. There's some, it looks like moss agate, some uh, amazonite, bloodstone, hematite, uh, there's a big amethyst, citrine. There's just lots of, ah, lots of goodies in here that I'm not going to go through and show each individual one because some of them you guys have already seen already. So we won't show those too much. Um, up here, I also have, this is called aragonite and there is blue aragonite and pink aragonite. And I have these, they look like little cotton candies. They are more on the pale side. I do have another set um, right here that is a little bit more colorful, a little bit more vibrant, especially the blue one. Um, but again, yes, these are aragonite. And look at that sparkle. Very gorgeous, full on cotton candy vibes. Absolutely love them so much. I have a blue calcite freeform but this is actually Aura treated as well. I've never seen Aura Blue Calcite, so as soon as I saw it, I had to get my hands on it. If you guys can't tell, I absolutely love Aura. I am a sucker for it. I feel a lot more connection to my pieces if they are Aura treated. For me, it enhances their energy and heightens it. Uh, for a lot of people, they don't like the Aura treatment because they prefer a raw natural stone. They feel like it has the highest metaphysical property um, but honestly I feel most connected to aura pieces for the most part. I love some raw stones in healing but to just look at and have in my collection I am definitely a sucker for the aura. <laughs> and then up here I also have a lavender fluorite. I believe this is also called yttrium fluorite. It's kind of got a weird spelling to it, um, but there is some gorgeous banding in here. It's kind of hard to see in this light, um, but there is a gorgeous band. There, you can see it on the bottom. There's a beautiful band in there, and it is just such the most gorgeous, cloudy lavender color. And I love, love, love this stone so much. Let's move on down to this shelf here. So first and foremost, I have this gorgeous peach still bite, and it just looks like this. I love, this is raw, this is completely raw. I love how naturally shiny still bite is. It is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this back here. Wow, it looks like a fruit or something. It's so pretty. So that is peach still bite. And then right here, I just have a raw blue kyanite just looks like so. I have two hearts here. The first one I showed you prior was Caribbean calcite, or I mentioned prior was Caribbean calcite, and it just looks like this. And I love the back because it looks like a sandy beach and like the waves coming in. So beautiful. Caribbean calcite is so amazing. It is so, so pretty and so beachy. And then the other heart that I have over there is this pink mangano calcite. And the cool thing about pink mangano is I'm going to shut my light off for a second because I'm going to show you guys that it is UV reactive. So as you can see, like my nails are growing, glowing like a hot pink color. Um, pink mangano also glows a hot pink color underneath a black light. So definitely love pink mangano. It is so awesome. And in here I have a few towers. I have two pink aragonite towers. So again, it is that gorgeous like cotton candy pink. As you can see, so beautiful. And then I also have this angelite opalisk. That looks like so. Angelite is a very pretty shade of blue. I have some little carvings. I have two wolves. I have a rose quartz wolf and a black obsidian wolf. They just look like this. Cute little babies. I'm a sucker for carvings. And I also have two more rose quartz carvings up here. And one of them is a dog and the other is a little kitty cat. I don't know if they're gonna, there we go, they focused. They are so cute. I love them. Just little rose quartz babies. I also have a little selenite 
charging plate. So you use selenite to cleanse and charge other crystals. You can just set them on top of this and it will charge and cleanse them nicely. Back here I have the amethyst cluster that I showed you guys in my first crystal collection video. So I'm not going to go in depth with that one. And then I also have my little lion back here. I actually want him from a giveaway. Um, but I have back here pink amethyst. And if you guys have never seen pink amethyst, I'm about to change your life because this is so gorgeous. This is a top polished point. Um, so the bottom is raw and the top has been polished in this shape. This thing is so sparkly and pretty in person. You guys don't even know, but when you flip it over, oh, look at this. If you guys have never seen pink amethyst before, it is so beautiful in person. Oh my gosh, this camera is not doing any of this justice. You guys would have to see this in person to understand like the true beauty of it. But yes, the bottom has been polished. It is so beautiful. Definitely love pink amethyst. And I want to get my hands on some more. Okay, now we will move on down to this section right here. In the very back, I have a lapidolite tower. So again, it has those lithium little flecks. So pretty. I love the more pastel color of this one. This one has some, it looks like an inclusion of some sort in the back. Very pretty. Then I have some spheres. I'll run through these really quick. I have an amethyst sphere. Just looks like so. I have a rose quartz sphere. Just a natural rose quartz with some beautiful banding on there. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I have an Aura Rose Quartz that is so rainbowy and gorgeous. And then I also have an Angelite Sphere. Just looks like this, matches the little obelisk back at the top. Then I also have this adorable little Aura Clear Quartz Sphere. It's full of little baby rainbows. Can you see all those? Oh my goodness. Very, very cute. And I also have an aura piece right here. This is an angel aura quartz cluster. And I call this confetti cake aura because it just reminds me of like birthday cake. And it is so beautiful. I love this one so, so much. This was one of my favorites for quite some time when I first got it. So stunning. Oh, I love that piece. I know a lot of you guys always ask to see that piece when I go live on Instagram and stuff talking about crystals as well. So I also have a couple palm stones down here. I have phosphosiderite. I know that's a mouthful, but it is a gorgeous like orchidy purple color and it is so soft. This and pink opal are like the two softest stones ever in my opinion, but that is phosphosiderite. And then I also have a kunzite little uh, tumble polished. I wouldn't necessarily call this a palm stone because it's not rounded, um, but it is very pretty as well. I also love kunzite because of the purple color. It is very calming and definitely a favorite. Then I have a few more carvings down here. I have an opalite unicorn. Keep in mind that opalite is actually man-made, but it still does maintain some healing properties. So it is still kind of sought after, even though it is a man-made stone, but it is very, very pretty and like iridescent. Then I also have a rose quartz bunny just looks like this. It's the same as the kitty and the dog that I showed before, except this one is a little bit more pale. So pretty. And then the last carving I have over here is a little uh, flower agate. Ooh, I got some kitty hair on me. It is a flower agate mouse. And you can see the little flowers in there. They're not real flowers, but that is why it is called flower agate because it forms like these little what appear to be flowers in the stone. 
which is so amazing. But this is a cute little mousy, and he just is adorable. It's kind of hard to show him because he's kind of tiny, but very, very cute. Okay, now on to the, the stuff you guys have been eyeing this whole time. We'll get to these last because this is my favorite shelf, um, I would say, along with the bottom. So I'll go ahead and show the bottom items first. This is the selenite charging plate that you guys saw in my first crystal collection video. You guys also saw this pink geode down here. So I won't show this for too long, just for a split second. It's just a little geode. Nothing too fancy. We have an Amazonite tower. So just like the spear that I showed towards the beginning, this is the same stone, except it is in a tower form instead of a sphere. So it looks like that. Very pretty color. We have a pink opal tower. Again, pink opal is so soft. You can see this one isn't glossy like the other ones. They left it that matte finish. And oh my goodness, this just feels like velvet in your hands. It is amazing. Then over here, I have, this is another, one of my favorite pieces. This is another Aura treated piece, but this is a top polished amethyst point. So as you can see, the top has been polished and it has been Aura treated. So it has that rainbow sheen. So pretty. I just love amethyst and the back has been roughly polished as well roughly shaped and polished so pretty I love this I love this little piece oh my gosh so pretty I have another aura agate but this one is a tower and it just looks like this I love the lavender hue that this one has throughout it so milky there's a couple little caves just natural things here and there and this one doesn't have, oh, that, there's a little flower right here. But other than that, this one doesn't have any like super prominent flowers like that mouse does. But look at all those little bubbles in there. So pretty. The last sphere I have in, down here. I'm not getting a little shaky holding this one, you guys. So bear with me. Um, this is one of my highest vibrational pieces. Uh, just so you know, it has a lot of oomph to it and it might make me a little lightheaded and dizzy showing it to you guys. Just holding it makes me feel a little uh, very at ease. <laughs> um, this is a tourmalinated quartz. So it is black tourmaline in quartz and it is a sphere. And again, I'm sorry for my shaking hands. Um, there are some hidden little rainbows in here as well. You can see some right there. So cute. Um, but yes, this is a very, very strong piece for me. I'm going to go ahead and put it down so I can tell you guys a little bit more about it. Um, but I was watching a live sale on Instagram Live. That is where I get most of my crystals is through live sales on Instagram. And my friend was doing her first live stream selling crystals. And she showed that piece and... My whole body went numb, my toes started tingling, and I just, my body escaped, like my soul escaped my body. I went to a whole other world in the two, in like the 10 seconds that she showed it, I went to a whole other world. And long story short, I thought about it the whole entire live, and finally I was like, hey, can you show that one again? She showed it again. I had the exact same feeling, and I claimed it on the spot because it was... Wow, okay, <laughs> you really do know when crystals are calling to you. You will feel it and it will send a rush through your body. Some people feel it in different ways. Some people get hot, some people get cold, some people feel tingles. Um, some people just feel relaxed and calm overall. It really varies from person to person. So if you don't feel anything at first, no, you're not doing anything wrong. Um, just allow yourself to let go and allow yourself to feel the energy. And in doing so, you will then open so many doors to the feelings of crystals and their energy, vibrations, and healing properties. Okay, so now on to the shelf right here. I have this adorable little pink aura sphere, little baby sphere, tiniest little sphere in my whole collection. I actually have two of these, but I figured I'd just show one because I don't need to show them both. 
there is a little amethyst tumble guy sitting up here so i'll move him out of the way you guys saw this piece in my last crystal collection video it is a titanium spirit quartz i figured i would show it again in different lighting because the last time you guys saw it it was outdoors and it may have had like different colors coming through but oh my gosh this color transition is stunning look i'm still shaking from that other one do you see this oh my goodness okay moving on <laughs> we have a pink tourmaline tower and it looks as though there might be some lithium inclusions in this or lipidolite inclusions in this which is totally normal because as you saw previously they do grow together so this is some pink tourmaline just like so i love the little pink color in there with the gray it's so pretty we have a pink aura tower and again that one is like i said aura treated so it has that pretty rainbow sheen and it just looks like this i love the detail inside there are some hidden rainbows in this one as well very very stunning this piece right here I have a little bit of a backstory to tell you guys so where I live there is this ice cream shop and it is called amethyst creamery and inside they also sell crystals there and so the last time I went in there this was the beauty that I got this is the only piece that I've gotten from there before um, or at all rather uh, but this is just a rainbow geode so this isn't like super like healing or anything. This is one of the just more fancy collection pieces that look pretty in your display. So I don't use something like this when I'm healing or when I'm meditating or things like that. I usually just put this as a display piece. There is a cat hair in the center of that. My apologies. Um, but look at this shimmer. Like I could not not get this because it is just so sparkly. Again, it is just a simple geode that has been treated with this titanium aura-y coating. But it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had to get that. We have an amethyst heart. Again, so grapey and shimmery and shiny. Here's what the back one, back of this one looks like. It's a little crazy. But this one is super gorgeous as well. Now on to my babies. We have, this is a Lavender Star Rose Quartz. And I'm going to see if I can get it to come up on screen here. I might have to grab my phone to show you guys. So let me grab that and put the, turn the light off. Okay, let me turn the, my big light off. And then I'm going to show you guys with my light on my phone. I'm going to show you guys why this is called a star rose quartz. If I can find her. There she is. Come on. Focus. Okay. Do you guys see that little star shape hovering around? That is why it is called a star rose quartz. And then there's also another one. On the back but it's a little bit harder to see with the white kind of showing through but yes this is a star oh look at that look at that rainbow on the bottom there yes this is a lavender star rose quartz sphere I'll go ahead and turn my light back on so you can see it again um, but this is definitely one of my favorite spheres by far. The color is absolutely stunning. I love the stars. I love that there are hidden rainbows throughout. The natural cracks and banding inside just make glorious patterns. And it is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. This was definitely one of my more expensive pieces. Uh, but oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous i call this my crystal ball because it is literally that and i am obsessed with it and then we have my two aura agate babies these both came from the same seller i'll go ahead and show the smaller one first this one i actually got today i was waiting on this cutie uh before i filmed this video because this was the last crystal that i was waiting on 
I just got her a couple days ago. Oh my gosh, she is an Aura Agate Bunny. Look at the Druzy in there. Oh my gosh. That shimmer and glitter is stunning. But she is a bunny. I've never seen a crystal bunny in this shape and size before. So when I first saw that she was going to be releasing these babies, I knew immediately that I had to have one. Especially since I loved my wolf piece from her so much. But you guys, oh my goodness, look at how pretty. She is so, so, so beautiful. So there is my agate. My, oh, there's a little inclusion down here I didn't notice. Very cool. I love when I'm just like looking at them for hours and then I find something new and I'm like, oh, oh, there's another one in her foot. I was like, oh, I didn't see that before. So that's really neat. But yeah, there is the pretty little Aura Agate Bunny. And then we also have the Pisa de Resistance. This is the most expensive crystal in my collection. You guys have seen this on my main Instagram. Um, and I've also talked about it on my live streams and stuff. But this is an Aura Agate hand-carved wolf. Again, all of these carved pieces are hand-carved. It's not done by a machine. It's done by human hands. So it does take many hours. And no two are the same. Um, but this one also has a gorgeous druzy pocket that's a little bit different than the other one. But look at the detail on this. Look at all those lines to make the fur. My hand is shaking. I'm sorry. But oh my gosh, this is stunning. I love wolves. Wolves are my favorite animal. And this is literally my dream piece in my collection. I don't think I will ever be selling this baby. She means so much to me and I just love her. Or love him. Whatever. I ain't here to, to judge. Like I said, he is the most expensive piece in my collection. So he will not be going anywhere <laughs> anytime soon. Um, but yes, he's very gorgeous. And when I saw the bunny, I had to get the bunny. I think it's kind of cute though, because like wolves and bunnies do not get along. So I kind of put them in their own little corners away from each other. <laughs> so the bunny will have no harm done to her. Okay. And with that, I would say that that is going to wrap up my updated crystal collection. Again, I'm sorry this video was so stinking long, but we expected it because I have gone crazy collecting all these crystals. They have literally changed my life. This journey that I am on is life-changing. Um, it has been so, so amazing. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because I don't want to talk your ear off anymore because I've already done enough. Let me know if it's possible. <laughs> let me know what your favorite crystal was that I showed. I know there were a ton. It's hard to decide, but I know a lot of people are going to lean towards the bunny and the wolf and maybe the spheres. Um, so gorgeous. Uh, anyway, yes, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys later. I hope you all enjoyed this. Sorry, I've been kind of MIA on YouTube. I've just been focusing a lot on myself and going through this journey and learning a lot about who I am as a person and discovering who I am as a person and all that fun stuff. It's definitely been very eye-opening and it's been a journey and I absolutely love it. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right.